The new cabinet is in place with more than a few familiar faces. One of them is Minister of Education Pan Wenzong, who's back after quitting the same post nine months ago. Pan had resigned last April over the political attacks and slander levelled at him during his handling of National Taiwan University's presidential appointment. Today, groups in the education sector had a mixed reaction to Pan's return. Nine months after quitting, Pan has made a roundabout return to the Ministry of Education. Today, he began his second term as Education Minister. Premier Su feels that there are many education policy projects from my first term that are now underway, and time is of the essence. Under such a situation, I am happy to take the position. I realize that this is a heavy burden, but it is right that I shoulder it. Last April, Pan had resigned as Education Minister over NTU's presidential appointment. In his resignation letter, he said that in the process of bringing the facts to light, he was targeted by political attacks and slander. Today, education groups weighed in on Pan's comeback. They said he's well qualified to handle education up to the secondary level, but that he doesn't know enough about higher education to handle issues like dwindling enrollment and the closure of private universities. He has shown a certain vision when it comes to policy making and policy implementation in 12 year national education. And when it comes to commanding the Ministry of Education, he has also demonstrated an outstanding ability to lead. Even at the start of his first term, the sector already had doubts about his understanding of higher education. The battle over NTU's president has ended after the board's appointment was approved by former Education Minister Ye Junrong. Now with Pan back in the House, educators are watching for whether he can pull off the drastic structural reforms Taiwan needs.